Welcome everyone, I am Chris from Beer, Bourbon and Games and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite breweries of all time and that is Mad Chef. Now they are pretty local to me and they are just absolutely phenomenal. This is long overdue that I talk about them. Today we are going to review one of their acronym series and that is, my friends, the IHA. Each one of their acronym series stands for something and this one stands for I'll have another because as soon as you're done drinking it he guarantees that you will ask to have another this is a 6.2 percent ABV and it is 23 IBUs look at that crowler isn't that a nice crowler that is an awesome design they don't do anything bad at this place so this is an IPA and this is going to be made with two hop types. It is the Galaxy and the Simcoe. So we've got the Galaxy, which should give us some tropical flavors, some like pineapple, peach, passion fruit kind of thing. And then we've got the Simcoe, which does give us some fruity tones, but it also offers some earthy bits in there. We should get some woody flavors, some pine notes, some uh, dankness as you want to say over in the West Coast IPA so I think this is going to be a pretty good combination of both tropical and that little bit of dankness in there to kind of mix together and it should be a pretty good flavor now I haven't had this since I was at the brewery but I absolutely loved it and I put it into a can so we are going to see what I get from this overall I cannot wait to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. So we are gonna pour it in our glass here. Put that label out, I want you to be able to see that label. Now we have a I don't know if I poured this in correctly. I mean, I normally tilt it, but we've got a very healthy head here and it is receding a little bit. I don't know why I got so much head. Probably because I was pouring it at a weird angle and I was trying to rush for you guys. But we have a very nice gold color. It's, it almost looks like a, a really pale looking, ooh, like a pale peach. It's a, it's a very nice color. It's very, very nice overall. It is lightly, lightly carbonated. You can see a little bit of bubbles coming up from it. The head is finally receding. I poured it poorly. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but we do have a nice style head here. It is white foamy bubbles. It is very, very nice overall. I can say that the smell isn't as strong as the last beer that I reviewed. I know when I had it, like even from here, I could smell it, but the notes aren't quite hitting me, so it's not jumping out like it was. But let's jump in for the nosing and see what we got here. This is a very nice mixture. You can smell pineapple up front very strongly right on the nose very sweet it, all, it also smells like uh, some orange juice in there so the tropical flavors from the galaxy are more present in the nosing I'm not really getting much of the Simcoe on the smell I'm not really getting any of those earthy tones I'm not getting any dry hop tones in here at all so we're really just getting the pineapple orange juice like passion fruit type smells in here overall yeah I'm not picking up really any of that dankness or anything at all from this so we are going to jump right in we are going to drink this and see if we'll ask for another now I remember why I crowded this this is so so good it's got a very refreshing and creamy mouthfeel it's smooth and soothing and there's absolutely no bitter aftertaste at all there's only 23 IBU so there is no real bitterness that is really super present the the pineapple that I was tasting is definitely still kind of coating the back of my mouth a little bit 
it filled the entire mouth and it was very refreshing and it's still kind of lingering in there a little bit it's definitely a, a, a medium bodied mouth feel it is very smooth and refreshing it is very very good I would say he probably uses a lot more of the Galaxy hops than the Simcoe. The wooded notes aren't really coming out too much. I can taste the pineapple and passion fruit. And you know, I've never had a dragon fruit, but I've smelled one. It kind of smells like that too. Maybe if you have this, you might taste dragon fruit, but I'm not 100% sure if it tastes exactly as that smells, but we're getting the tropical notes all really front forward and the lightest, lightest earthiness in the background. A little bit of like evergreen pininess, but you really have to search for it. The dankness is not there. It is just super refreshing and crisp. This is a sweet beer without being overly sweet. And I'm guessing that might be why he put the Simcoe in there. Maybe that reels it back a little bit. Maybe this would have been a lot sweeter had it not been for that Simcoe to just kind of bring it down a little bit. Um, I'm glad that he didn't dry hop this though. You can definitely tell the difference between something that was dry hopped and not dry hopped. This is letting those fruit flavors really come forward and I really, really like that. I think this would have been completely different had he dry hopped it. So I really appreciate them not doing that for this one. This is absolutely incredible. As I drink it a little bit more, my palate's adjusting to it. I'm definitely, I'm definitely liking it more and more every single taste I have here. This is an absolutely fantastic beer and it lives up to its name. That IHA is perfectly, perfectly named. I would definitely pour another one of these right after this one it's on the it's a 6.2 so it is higher than what you would consider sessionable but there is absolutely nothing wrong with you crushing a few of these i could easily crush two or three of these and not have a problem with it not get tired of the flavor this is just absolutely insane what mad chef is able to do so overall i would say that this beer is damn near perfect. Francisco, you knocked it out of the park. You and your brewers there are absolutely fantastic. This for me is going to be almost perfect. 4.8 out of 5. I don't think I could find much that I would change with this at all. It's not a perfect beer and I will probably never rate anything perfect. It's nothing against any brewer, but it's just hard to be perfect. But this beer is so so close it's not even funny mad chef is amazing they've done it again francisco is amazing guys they've been open four years i wish them continued success and here's to the next four if you go in there please say hi to francisco that man is the coolest guy i have ever seen he is awesome if you go in there and you don't like francisco there is something wrong with you because he is freaking awesome You'll know who he is when you go in there. He is loud, he is boisterous, and he does so much for the community and everyone around them. He raises a lot of money. Um, he's done things for Puerto Rico after their hurricane they had there. He is constantly trying to raise money and awareness for things. He is an amazing guy, and Mad Chef is one of the best places I can recommend to anyone. Top tier food, top tier beer, awesome staff that will go above and beyond. They are amazing. Go out and support Mad Chef. I cannot say any more about them that reviews haven't. They have almost near perfect reviews on Facebook, Google, Yelp. They're amazing for a reason. I'm not being paid to say it even though I am repping them. That is how much that I love Mad Chef. They will forever be my favorite place to go around my area. If they ever close the doors, I'm probably gonna shed a tear. So guys, if you're close, Go out and support Mad Chef. Keep them open, keep the lights on, and say hi to Francisco. And don't forget to get a beer. And remember guys, this beer is not gonna drink itself. I'm gonna have to help it. Cheers my friends.